RPGs are a storytelling media. The player controls a single character or a cast of characters and leads them on an adventure through a fantastic world. The main series of Pokemon games are RPGs. They started as top-down 2D tile-based games before entering the world of three dimensions. Unfortunately for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield though, adding a new dimension did not save it from doing a poor job in telling a key part of the story. For this video, I'll be talking about a key rule in writing known as show, don't tell. Essentially, show, don't tell is a technique of allowing the reader, or in this case the player, to experience the story rather than being told about it. And being told about it is exactly what happens too much in this game. I could talk about a few things like the time a Wulu visibly crashes into the player only to have a text box pop up that tells us that's what happens, but I'll be focusing on something else for this video. Pokemon Sword and Shield introduce a new mechanic to the world of Pokemon, Dynamaxing. In the Galar region, Pokemon can increase both in size and power. It definitely makes for a spectacle in battle, but we're here to talk about the story. In Sword and Shield, there are instances of Dynamax Pokemon running wild and threatening the safety of NPCs. Other commentators have already mentioned the problem that it is the champion Leon who deals with the first of these threats rather than the player character. In addition to that, I will say that the story issue I had with this is that it doesn't follow, show, don't tell. The first time a rogue Dynamax happens, it's Hop, the player character's rival, who tells us what happened with the Dynamax Pokemon. We don't see it at all. Unless you count a new clipping that comes onto the screen. I don't. Sword and Shield are 3D games on a powerful console. This is a wasted opportunity. Limiting Dynamax Pokemon only to the turn-based battles of the games doesn't allow us to really see the gravity of the danger a Dynamax Pokemon can pose. Even if they didn't want the player to have a part in taking down the rogue Pokemon, a cutscene in which the player character witnesses people and Pokemon alike running in fear would have been a simple yet effective way to bring this across. Show the rampaging Pokemon in the distance, shaking the ground, and thus the Nintendo Switch, with every step it takes. In the aftermath, let us see broken buildings and destroyed terrain. Let's actually impact gameplay in that a route is changed. Something, just not this. This is just a short critique of a franchise I've loved since I was a child. Maybe the next installments in Pokemon will do better. I've been Ken Kwame, and I'll see you next time.